Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Phone Central. I'm going to give you guys a quick look at three new apps that have hit the Windows Phone 8 store recently. They're all from one single developer and they've just actually blown me away, which is why I'm doing this video so late. I think they're some of the most impressive modern UI slash minimalist apps I've seen for Windows Phone, and they're just really cool. The first one here is called Breeze. It's B-R-E-E-Z, and it's a free weather app, and you can see that tile flipping around there. gives you the current conditions as well as the forecast, but when you launch it, you're going to see here, it brings up this screen and you have the current time, you have the date, current conditions, as well as the temperature and your location. But there's more to this app. It's all kind of hidden. When you swipe down, it brings you down the three day, three day forecast, which is pretty convenient. You have your little icons there and the highs and lows. But probably the neatest feature is the 24 hour forecast. So simply by swiping up, it's going to start to change and you can see the actual temperature dropping the background changing look there's rain um and then it's going to just go all the way up through the next 24 hours and you can just get your basically weather forecast that way when you release it just hops back probably one of the coolest things i've ever seen for a weather app i just think it's truly ingenious and it's just a really neat feature tapping down here you get the ability to pin to your start screen you also have settings which are fairly basic you have your units including fahrenheit and celsius effect and location on or off and that is basically it you can also rate the app but that is breeze um truly interesting weather app i would love to see lock screen support eventually but we're not going to demand too much of the developer right now since that's a version 1.0. The next app is called Flashlight, and there are two versions of this. There's a pay version and a free version. The free one has ads in it. The pay version is 99 cents if you want to get uh, rid of those ads. Uh, you can see also here it doubles as a battery meter, so it's an all-in-one kind of app. It even tells you how many hours you have left. Now, when you want to launch this, this is a truly unique looking app uh, you have the main power button here and there it goes turns on the light but this is a variable meter and so you can actually get a strobe effect and it changes based on the frequency so it can go pretty crazy um i hope no one there is getting seizures i apologize in advance um, but you can turn it on or off by touching the button you can also turn it on or off by uh, using the camera button which will also work as well. And then if you go into settings here, there's all sorts of things. You can turn on the flashlight uh, when you first turn it on. You can have it sh shake the phone to turn it on or off. Uh, you have that camera button, run under lock screen, prevent lock screen. There's also a compass, which you can turn on. You can change the default tile to be a live tile or just a static icon. So we go back and there is the compass feature, which is a pretty interesting use of that big power button, which otherwise had no other function. Uh, and so now you can get a live compass reading as well. So you're getting a compass, a battery meter, and a variable strobe flashlight all built into a single app. Once again, it's a free app or it is a 99 cent pay version, which I actually opted for because I thought it was pretty ingenious. Finally, the last app is called Tiny Do, and it is a cool little to-do list. We have plenty of these apps on the store, but this one brings a lot of neat stuff. Uh, first of all, it's got a great tutorial. When you first launch the app, it's actually going to explain how it all works. And then when you first go into it, it actually has a lot of these to-do notes as reminders of how the app works. Uh, so basically tapping the app will bring up an edit screen where you can edit the note. You can tap here, and you can actually set a reminder alarm for yourself, and you can also make it a priority task by tapping that icon. Uh, other features include dragging down will create a new task. And you can see that's voice activated and it worked pretty well right there. You don't have, so how that works is when you bring it down quickly, it creates a new note. If you hold it though, it'll do the audio or you can just tap that button. So that's pretty cool. And then to get rid of stuff, let's see, you swipe that way to delete. You swipe that way and it uh, makes it done basically. You can see it goes down there to the bottom. If you shake the device, it'll actually get rid of your cleared and finished tasks. And then you can also merge things. So I'm gonna take this one and I bring it over this and you can see that little uh, arrow comes down. And now I've just combined that to create a group. And so now I have two notes in a single uh, 
meta note basically uh once again it's a free app it is really just cool if you need to take a quick note i love the drag feature for creating a new note especially the voice one which could be very useful if you're out in a grocery store you need to do something so those are three apps from viv motion breeze tiny do and flashlight i think they're some of the coolest windows phone apps i've seen recently um you know give the developer positive ratings if you really like it and it does be essential for more information and the download links take care everybody